So things were going well until about 2002. And that's when the Women's Health Initiative trial was published and everything changed. There was a link established between the use of HRT and breast cancer, stroke and heart disease. And the trial was stopped early. It made newspaper headlines and generations of women were taken off their HRT overnight. Doctors working today were trained during this era. We remember those headlines and we remember the fear of prescribing HRT at the time. But the trouble is, the, the data was flawed. They were, they were not scared for the right reasons. The trouble with that data was that the average age of the women included was 63. Only 3.5% of the women in that study were between the ages of 50 and 54. Most of the women in the study hadn't even been on HRT. A lot of them were overweight and a lot of them were smoke, had been smokers. So the trouble is you can't use that data and apply it to today's perimenopausal women. Along with that problem was that because we thought that HRT wasn't something that we were going to be able to use, menopause didn't make it into training. So the number of hours of training that you receive in medical school on menopause is zero hours. 